so this is my vlog number three. I'm sorry about that stuff on me. My ceiling is blinking. Um, okay, so this is vlog number three, everybody. And I have finally made it to Guangzhou. I am in my new, well, it's not exactly new, but new to me, dorm room. Um, I'm actually living in a dorm. It is uh, subsidized housing for the teachers, or provided housing for the teachers at the school I'm in. Um, yeah, so this is just the door. But I'll let you see outside the door, because that's kind of interesting too. I am on the roof. Can you imagine that? Living on the roof. Um, we're not going to go out the door, but you can see through it. So I'm on the roof of my building. No, not my building, but my school's cafeteria, which is a three-story cafeteria. So we're just going to go around the room, and um, for the most part, everything in here is exactly as it is when I moved in, except for the living room. I did a little bit of rearranging. But this is... Uh, I think the kitchen not sure on that but um yeah I got a lot of water bottles I guess uh, so this is the living room and I've done just a few modifications to it I moved the sofa from that side of the room to this side of the room um, I moved the desk over a little bit so I could put my projector up on it because there's no TV in here and I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but the screen is kind of slanted because this wall is not built correctly. Oh, I should have just adjusted the screen tilt. Shoot. But anyway, so this side of the screen is much bigger than that side of the screen because of the shape of the wall. Um, it's, it's crooked, the whole wall is. a little bit but the whole wall is just crooked and and this thing it, it drives me nuts because there was no reason why this which is hiding an electrical wire needed to go up it could have just gone straight over there was no reason for that anyway but my apartment comes with two air conditioners here's one here's the outside of my apartment as you can see on the roof um not sure if someone is here. There's a person over here in 402. Um, this is the bedroom that came, that is unmodified except for I moved the closet over a little bit and I swept the floor, which was disgusting. And there's the other air conditioner, little table. That, actually, this room also I could set up my projector in here. Um, but I, I like it out in the living room. I'm going to sleep on the sofa for a while. Um, this is outside my dorm room. The lady's got her curtain open again. Um, yeah. So this is the, uh, the bathroom. Which is a very loose term for the word. Um, so this is technically the bathroom there's this water heater thing that I have no clue how to use uh, I honestly I have no idea how to use this thing um, window okay so um, I know this is temperature this is a temperature gauge but it says closed low and high so that I don't understand if this means that it's high temperature low temperature and cold water or what and I have no clue what this does if it does anything um, it is electric so it just plugs in um, I have not used it yet because well, anyway I was just too tired yesterday it comes with a nasty stool um, nasty this thing and squat toilet which everybody just loves squat toilets but yeah whatever so yeah this is just a short video because I'm not in the mood um I think
think I just broke the door too. I don't think that's supposed to turn. I don't think this should turn. There's no. Yeah. There's a uh, no lock for the door either. So that's that's fun. But yeah, so this is where I live now. For now, I am definitely moving out of this place when I get the opportunity to do it. Because, I mean, come on. Really? I. Really? Um. What is this? <laughs> I, I, it's so dirty here. I don't want to. I don't want to touch it. I'm not going to touch it. I, I. I know it's a water tap. I just don't know what it does. Um. There is a mosquito in here. I noticed in my other two videos after they got uploaded to YouTube that the volume is really low. So I need to work on talking louder or finding a way of adding secondary audio to these things. Or doing a voiceover for them. Um, but yeah, so like I said, just closets and stuff. I didn't say that, but... Uh, yeah, so... I get bunk beds. Um, free hairband. My phone, a free cup, a table, and this closet. And that, that's the entirety of my apartment. That's the entirety of the room. Very, very minimalist. Um, yeah. So today, I'm making this video today. I actually got here yesterday, but after I saw the interior of this place, after I saw the interior of this place, I was so, um, yeah, I, I just wasn't having it. And um, yesterday I waited for a guy to come and pick me up, or waited for the guy to come and fetch me from the security office for quite a long time, almost four hours, I think, three, three and a half, maybe four hours I waited for him to show up. He finally did. Um, he just said that his phone was off, and that was that. Um, so, whatever. But he brought me here, and then after that, I went and hung out with a friend who lives here in Guangzhou. We stayed out until pretty late last night, and I came back and died, <laughs> basically. Um, so, my bed is going to be this sofa for quite a while because I I don't have any blankets, I don't have anything here other than clothes. Um, probably gonna have to buy some wet wipes or something like that so I can wipe down the bed in the, the bedroom. And then I'll, I'll just sleep on it. I mean, I've had worse. This is by far the better of places I've been in. It's a little bit cleaner. And there is a string hanging from the ceiling. I, it actually was just draped off the ceiling, I, off the door here. This, yeah, this rope here was just hanging there. So I figured out what it's for, I think. It's uh, to hang clothes off of. But like I said, I'm, I'm just going to bear with it, grip my teeth, and uh, yeah, it, it's not the worst place I've been to. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen either. So, as long as I got my projector, I got the internet, uh, I should be fine, I guess. I want to see how well it goes with uploading videos to YouTube using this internet here because this is downloading with 3,000 seeders and only 100 liters, and it's only doing 27, 100 kilobytes a second, 200 kilobytes a second. Um, when I was living in Nanjing, I had a 100 megabit internet. This would have been done in three minutes. Uh, in Shaman, at the school, they had 100 megabyte internet. It was done in, it was done in a minute, minute and a half, because I used the, I had direct access to the line. No one else was using it, so, um, so I would just use Wi-Fi on the projector. But here, I can't. There's, there's nothing, you know. Oh, I could have used my projector in the school too. Shoot, I didn't think of that. 
Anyway, um, so this is my place. Like I said, I'm going to try and keep up with uploading. Uh, we're going to make a video of me walking around the campus a little bit later. Uh, it's been raining today and it rained yesterday. So, um, yeah. I got to figure out a way to wash my clothes and figure out how to use that water heater. Um, oh, well, I guess I can show this. And uh, so this is my ID card for the school. Yeah, so this is my ID card. Um, it just says, it doesn't have my name on it yet. I don't think I'm going to add my name. Uh, not sure. Um, it doesn't have an ID pic, it doesn't have a picture or any of that stuff on it, but it does say the school's name. But it lets me into the cafeteria. It doesn't unlock the main gate. Don't know why. Um, but it lets me into some doors. I guess I could wander around today and figure out what doors it opens. But I need to take a shower and then I can do stuff like that later. Um, so far I found nothing around this school. Uh, and that seems to be about what it is. Although I live far enough outside the city that there are electric bikes, motorcycles, motor gas scooters that have license plates for Guangzhou on them. So eventually, within the next month, yeah, it, I, and hopefully this month I can move out of this crap hole and into a decent apartment. But I think I want to save money and just grit my teeth to stay in this place until October and then find a better place because I'll have more money and then I can move my stuff from Guangzhou or from Nanjing to to here um, where yeah I'm going to tell the landlord that I'm moving out at the end of October probably beginning of this month um, yeah I'm just telling that I'm going to move out at the end of October and then I'm going to need to find a place here so I'm gonna have to start looking around after I get paid and yeah I mean I, I feel I'm still so exhausted because I rode a train from Shaman to Guangzhou it took from 545 550 on Friday afternoon until 630 650 630 45, something like that. Uh, yeah, 6.45 on uh, no, 6.30. 6.30, I take it back. 6.30 Saturday morning. So that's 12, 13 and a half hours I rode a train. It's two, almost 13. I don't know. I'm sorry. My brain is messed up. But it did take 13 hours to ride a train to get here. Almost. And um, then I was up and moving around all the way until like 11 o'clock midnight yesterday I've had I did eat yesterday actually I did eat a pretty good dinner last night but I haven't had anything really since Thursday and, uh, so last night's dinner was the first time I ate since Thursday and uh, today I've been so exhausted I just don't have energy for anything and the ceiling keeps dropping this white crap all over my clothes. So I gotta stop wearing dark colored clothing here. Um, yeah, and tomorrow starts my first day of classes. So I got to relax, rest, clean up, figure out how to wash my clothes. I'm gonna have to pull out clothes from my suitcase too. Because I can't wear jeans and shorts or anything in my other school in this school so I gotta clean up um, yeah that's that's the end of today's vlog I know I'm really quiet and I'm sure I'm not sure how well the sound is going to carry through on this one but I've been really quiet over these so I'm going to have to learn to talk louder a whole lot louder maybe this loud I think I guess I don't know anyway this is me this is DN China and this is vlog number three I'm going to get better. I'm sure I'm going to get better at this. So...
Peace.